say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled everyone and welcome Superintendent Langenfeld, Principal Firk, teachers and friends or family watching with us today, and of course, welcome Class of 2020. I'm extremely grateful to be standing or recording before you all today giving this speech. If you don't know me, I'm Annika, and we went to high school together, if you didn't already notice the cap and gown. It's crazy to think that today we will all be graduating. Although it's only been four years, we have seen so much from homecoming events, intense Kahoot games, inhaling way too much baby powder during football games, to a global pandemic. Yeah, 2020 Vision didn't see that one coming. We may not all know each other as individuals, but the friends and acquaintances we have made along the way are something that will not be forgotten. Do not go where the path may lead, go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. Ralph Waldo Emerson. This is our 2020 class motto, and let me just say we have already made a trail by being the only class to finish our final trimester online. Years from now, when younger generations complain about having to go to school every day, we can tell them that we socially distance our way to graduation. So before I continue, let's all give ourselves a round of applause, because we deserve it. Four years ago, we all entered East High School young and stress-free from the lack of AP testing and ACT prep. But over these last four years, we have learned to appreciate that stress and change it into motivation for what the future holds for each of us. Whether that be college or starting your own business. Maybe it's getting a new job at a company in hopes to one day be CEO. Maybe it's joining the military, or maybe it's to pursue your dream to become an artist or a musician. Whatever our goals may be for the future, East High School has always been there to encourage us all as individuals to pursue our goals, whatever they may be. So at this time, I would like to give a huge thank you to the wonderful teachers and staff at East High School. Every single teacher, lunch lady, custodian, or any staff member of East High School has given more than any of us could have asked for, including homework. There have been times where some of my teachers have gone out of their way to make sure that a student is getting to or from school safely, or bringing food when they know we might be hungry, which we usually are. That has been one of the many things that East High School has done so well over the years. The staff has created an environment in which, we can, in which each student can feel comfortable to express themselves, especially at a time in our lives when we are all truly trying to figure ourselves out and find what makes us want to move forward and improve every day. So once again, thank you to the extraordinary staff at East High School for creating an inspirational and welcoming environment for the class of 2020. Both William Shakespeare and Channing Tatum have once said, some are born great, some achieve greatness, and some have greatness thrust upon them. And although not everyone is born great or has greatness thrust upon them, it is our job to search for and create that greatness. And if you're thinking, man, I don't know how to leave a legacy. All I've been doing is staying in my house making TikToks and procrastinating on all of my homework. You're not alone, trust me. And if you're thinking, well, Annika, how can I achieve greatness if I procrastinate all of the time? I'll remind you that it took Leonardo da Vinci 16 years to finish the Mona Lisa, and look at the incredible legacy that he left behind. It took Leonardo DiCaprio 12 years to win an Oscar when we all know he should have won for the Titanic. 
but some great things just take time. I'm not saying that you should wait around for 16 years until you're struck with some amazing idea, but know that it's okay to not be perfect. Turn that imperfection into inspiration and push new boundaries whenever you can. Seize opportunities so that we can be great, so that we can leave a trail wherever we may go. Most importantly, the trail that we make is a legacy that we leave behind as well. The friends that we make along our path to greatness is one that will not be forgotten or dismissed. So remember to cherish every moment that you have with the people you surround yourself with. And lastly, I'd like to keep this speech short and sweet, just like our school year. So I'll just say one more thing. Don't be afraid to do something new. Be diligent and to strive for the unknown. Make your peers around you respect you for what you can accomplish. As Michael Scott once said, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Thank you, class of 2020. I wish you all the very best. Catch you on the flippity flip. Superintendent Langenfeld, the members of the Board of Education, administrators, teachers, family, friends, and the members of the class of 2020. We are gathered here today to celebrate. My name is Eve Hapitas. I attended East all four years, but before that I attended Aldo Leopold Community School. Starting my first day of freshman year, I have been stopped countless times with a question, are you an Aldo kid? I was confused as to how they knew, but I guess it was pretty evident that I had gone to a small school. Aldo Leopold's sense of community was my foundation, but East is what formed me into the person that I am today. No matter the path you took to get here, it all led us to the same place. Do not go where the path may lead, but go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. Ralph Waldo Emerson. High school is the norm. We followed a structured path because we're supposed to. However, each and every person forges their own path throughout high school. As we've seen in every depiction, these are the years in which we find ourselves. Everyone told us that it'd go by in a blink of an eye, but we never really seemed to believe them until we lived through it. The class of 2020 missed some events that we have looked forward to since the beginning of high school, and maybe even before. But these events are symbolic. We went through the real milestones, the first and last, football games, homecomings, relationships, etc. We may have gone through the cliches, but this quote could not be more fitting for our class. We are in unprecedented times. We are living through history that future generations will learn about. But I think that makes us special. That's why this quote is so fitting. We are creating our own path without even trying. I mean, we are having a virtual graduation, but that makes us the trailblazers of this new normal. I don't know if you felt this way, but personally, by the end of the first day of senior year, I was ready to move on. Five minutes in the cafeteria with freshmen could not make it more evident that I was outgrowing high school, but I realized I would yet to go through the year that made it all worth it. Last kept popping up. I went to every football, volleyball, and basketball game I could. I went to the Jam Pack Musical and Rhapsody Review, but these players and music kids were not the seniors that I had once idolized as a freshman. They were the class of 2020. My best friends were on the field, court, and stage. You can be ready to move on to the next chapter of your life and still cherish every moment you have left before you go. As a freshman at my first homecoming pep rally, I looked up to the senior varsity captains and I couldn't wait for it to be me, even if it felt like a lifetime away. Then there I was, four years later, being called down to the court. The homecoming pep rally got rained out, so we had to make some alterations, but the girls obviously still won the competition, by a lot. I felt as if things kept going wrong. Our senior picture and homecoming parade got rained out. We didn't get one snow day, and we live in Wisconsin, and then we were hit with a global pandemic. But I believe East prepared us as best as they could. These circumstances could not have been foreseen. But I know that our years at East, there were lessons everywhere, in and out of the classroom, trying to prepare us to problem solve within the real world. East High School fosters positive growth. You may not believe it, but if you look back on your freshman self, I guarantee you have changed for the better. That's because we were provided with an environment that allowed for you to grow, even if you regret some of the phrases you went through. I cannot thank my teachers enough for all the help they've given me throughout the years. And believe me, I've needed a lot of help. 
I am going to forget most of that information, but their time helping me was never wasted. The relationships that I have with people at East, staff and students alike, have taught me the most valuable les lessons that you can find. I have friends of all races, socioeconomic statuses, sexual orientations, and any other way you can think to categorize people. And that makes East a wonderful reflection of the real world. The new and unknown scares people. But when you have to jump feet first into one of the most diverse yet accepting environments you can come by, you come out with an open mind and a loving heart. Not only will it serve you well, it serves others well. Going in freshman year, East was the biggest school that I had ever seen. I was terrified of getting lost in the sea that was the first floor hallway by the staircase. I couldn't even see where I was going, not that I knew where I was going. Each year it seemed as if East got a little smaller, and I know it didn't get smaller because I got taller. I didn't. It got smaller because East had become my home. Some people are still able to guess that I was an older kid, but that's far behind us. Now, I'm lucky enough for people to ask, what school do you go to? And I can proudly answer, Green Bay East High School. We are proudly wearing red today because we are celebrating our years at East. But you are wearing that cap and gown because we are celebrating the person that you've grown to be. The title of your future career does not define you. How you do it says everything about the person that you are. Take all that you've learned in these years and the same spirit you've used to try and navigate this uncharted territory that we are living through and bring it with you every step of the way. Make your own path. Thank you. Superintendent Langenfeld, members of the Board of Education, administrators, teachers, parents, family, friends, and members of the class of 2020. I would like to thank each and every one of you for being here today. And on behalf of my class, I would especially like to thank all of the amazing people who were a part of our journey to get here today. Without the constant support provided to us by our parents, siblings, and the amazing staff and faculty that we are so lucky to have here at East, we couldn't have made it to graduation. We are sincerely thankful for everything you have done for us. And now, to my fellow classmates, we made it. Through a rained out homecoming pep rally, a canceled homecoming parade, and of course, a global pandemic, we finally made it. This year has been one that will undoubtedly go down in history books. And the fact that we, as a class, not only survived a global pandemic, but learned to adapt and thrive under the pressure put upon us is not an achievement to be taken lightly. This year has been a test of the strength of our wills and our fighting spirit. And the fact that we are here today getting our high school diplomas is proof that we have emerged from it victorious. That aside, I know many of us feel that we were robbed of what was supposed to be the best part of our high school careers. Not only did we have most of our major homecoming events rained out, we also had no senior send-off, no certain plans for senior ball, and up until recently, we didn't even know exactly how we were going to graduate. Navigating this final trimester of our high school careers, for many, has felt like walking through a dense forest in the middle of the night with seemingly no way out. Many of us have felt extremely lost, but it is in these times where feelings of hopelessness begin to sink in that I want to bring up the motto our class chose for ourselves. Do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is not a path and leave a trail. Ralph Waldo Emerson. What a fitting quote for this year, and how ironic that our class chose it before knowing the extent to which we would need to apply it in the final stretch of our high school years. Our class has faced challenge after challenge this year, but each time we pulled through and we made it work. We are a class full of people who know how to adapt to their circumstances, and a class full of people who, when they find out they cannot fly, go out and build their own wings. The biggest challenge we have faced this year has, of course, been the COVID-19 outbreak. This type of large-scale outbreak is something we have not seen since the invention of modern medicine. There is no set protocol for what needs to happen or what steps should be taken during a pandemic. We have no rules, no guidelines, no paths to follow. But we are more than capable of forging our own paths. East High School has taught us well, taught us to be ourselves, to work hard, to make our own way in life. We are a school and a class that thrives under pressure and knows how to overcome any obstacles placed in our way. As we go on to college, to the workforce, or to a position serving our country, we can trust that these past four years at East have prepared us well. East has served us as more than just a school. It has been a home. East is the place where not only did we learn math and science, 
We also learned to be hardworking and strong. We learned social studies and ELA, but more importantly, we learned to be good people, and we learned to chase after what we wanted with everything we have and then some. East has taught us invaluable life lessons that we will take with us throughout the rest of our lives. And the communities and friendships we built during our time as students are ones that will last a lifetime. No matter where the trails we all make for ourselves lead us, they will have a common starting point. And that is here, within the walls of Green Bay East High School. And when we are tired of building and need to rest, we know that we can always follow our trails back to their start and trust that someone will be there waiting to welcome us home and offer us the help and support we need, just as they did when we were their students. East will always be a place we can call home. And as we grow older, our years within its walls will serve as a reference to show how far we have come since we set out to forge our own paths through life. As we continue on with this graduation ceremony, we get the special opportunity to watch our friends and fellow classmates receive their diplomas and take their first step away from East High School, away from our home, and onto their own unique trail. Some of us will have trails running parallel to our friends. Some of us will go in opposite directions. But no matter where we go, we will always be connected through East High School. And even more than that, we will be connected through the common experience of having the unique senior year that we did. We will be connected through the sadness of canceled sporting events, missed dress up days, and no senior send off. But more than that, we will be connected through the things we did to help each other in these uncertain times. We will be connected through Instagram pages that honor our class. Signs made and sold to support the seniors where the proceeds went towards helping with relief efforts. We will be connected through mask making and donating and finding any way possible to be of use. We will be connected through wishing we could do more and sitting in our houses watching the news saying there is no more toilet paper and no more sanitizer and wondering if life will ever go back to normal again. We will be connected through this year. And one day, when someone asks us what our high school years were like, we will have one hell of a story to tell them. We have been through a storm of uncertainty and fear that wiped away any path we may have planned on following. But from the dust kicked up by the storm, we will build our own futures on our own terms. We will rise out of this global tragedy and build a world that is stronger and kinder. And the trails we forge will be followed by others until they become the new paths for generations to come. Thank you. Thank you all for being virtually present today to honor the senior class of 2020. Parents, grandparents, relatives, friends, members of the Board of Education, Superintendent Langenfeld, faculty and staff of East High School and other schools, welcome to you all on behalf of the Green Bay East High School class of 2020. Today is a big day that you have been waiting patiently for for over 12 years, graduation. Although it doesn't seem the same this year as it has in the past, today is a day to celebrate all of your accomplishments. Today you will show our community the pride and honor that it is to be a Red Devil. As principal of East High School, I have had the honor and privilege to work with all of you for the past several years and have seen you develop into quality individuals that will hopefully change the world. It is and has been a pleasure to serve you as students and your families, whether it has been for one year or for all four years. On behalf of East High School staff and myself, we thank you for your trust in allowing us to serve you and your family throughout these final years of your K through 12 education. Wow. The words of the speech were not easy to come by this year because of the bittersweet ending to our school year. No one would or could have predicted that we would end our times together apart from one another. That our classes and meetings would be virtual and if we could have the opportunity to be face to face, it would be at a distance of six feet or more. Even though your year has not ended like every other year, your time and memories of East High will not be forgotten. Each year the senior class goes through their motions of picking out a class model. The seniors on student council choose a few quotes and then the class votes. This year was no different, except that when we were doing this, no one knew what was going to happen and that the model the class chose would be so fitting to your end of high school and the beginning of your next steps. 
Do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail by Ralph Waldo Emerson. There certainly has been no path that has been forged for what we have gone through, nor for what lies ahead of us. The world has changed right before our eyes, and it will never be the same. And my wish is that the changes will be for the better. This is where you come in. What are you going to do about it? What can you personally take away from this experience? How do you help build a better tomorrow? These are the things that are uncertain in your future. However, the one constant in all of this is you. You are the one who will define who you are and who you will become. You will make choices that some will like and others will not. Always make the choices that you believe are for the better for not only yourself, but for those around you. Each and every day will be different, but the same in many ways. Some days will be awesome and others not so good, but use the tenacity of being a red devil and keep moving forward to pave a path that is in front of you. One thing that I have learned in life is that you can do anything for one day at a time. Take each day as a gift and when you wake up, whether it be in the morning or most of you in the afternoon, it will be up to you to determine if it is going to be a positive and productive day or not. No one other than yourself can determine your mindset. You are the one creating the path you take each day. When you find your path, you must ignore fear. You need to have the courage to risk mistakes. But once you are on that road, run, 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 and don't stop till you've reached its end. The seemingly simple quote from Jose Harris sets the stage for you and those around you to take heart in forging new paths. Keep focused and know that it won't always be easy and at times a little scary. You need to move forward and create new paths with your newfound knowledge and tenacity. Others may follow your lead, and if that happens, do it the red devil way. Be respectful, be dependable, and be prepared. These simple ideals will not let you down. They will keep you focused and moving forward down the path of your life. Even though you've learned so much from our knowledgeable staff, there are many more things for you to learn. I thought I knew it all when I graduated. I began to go down a path that others had forged, but I soon began to wander off that path. I made choices that at times were a bit scary and not always the safest. I know that I made mistakes in which I went too fast and didn't take the time to appreciate the outcomes and lessons learned of those choices, whether they were good or bad. The one thing I did learn and, and to do and appreciate over time was to follow my heart. Follow the lead of my heart has led me to the path that I'm fulfilling now. It took me time to grow and develop into the person that I am now, but I have taken to heart to love those around me in order to keep my life going and no matter the person. The path you will go on will not be easy. Sometimes you will choose the safest path, but understand that the safest path may not be the best path. You will learn that fear is to not always be trusted, nor should it be ignored. Trust your instincts and follow the pathway set by your heart. Your purpose in life is ever evolving and changing to fit you now and into the future. Take the guidance that you have obtained from everyone at East High School and begin forging that path. When you begin to look back at all the things that happened in school, I hope you look back and smile. 
that the time you spent at East were years to remember and not regret. That the memories of homecoming, yes, it rained each year. Dances, musicals, academic competitions, homework, and even the ending to this year has had an impact on your development into the person that you are today and will be later in life. Everyone's memories are different, whether they were good or bad. No one can ever go back and change the past. But you can use these memories and lessons to help you grow into your future self. Understand that teachers showed you things that in the moment you wish they would just hurry up and get it over with. Your teachers were teaching you information a little at a time because they understood in, that in life, nothing happens quickly. Just because information is available in a matter of seconds at your fingertips doesn't mean that this is the way life's path will lay ahead of you. Think about these last several months. What have they taught us? That life is bigger than just ourselves, that we need to appreciate families and friends. That East High School is more than just a building. It is a place to grow, gather, learn, and many would say they're home away from home. That, no, that we need others on our journey through path of life. The, that distance does make the heart grow fonder. And staff have missed their interactions with you just as much as you have with them. There are 1,440 minutes to our day and 525,600 minutes to each year. Take advantage of every minute. Don't waste the time that is given to you. Make the most of your lives and those around you. No matter what path you are going down, the job, career, military, technical school, college, university, focus on the journey and be the best that you can be because each of you deserves it. We are proud of you. Be proud of yourselves. Live your life with the heart of an East Red Devil. Again, remember your class quote. Do not go where the path may lead. Go instead there, where there is no path and leave a trail. The path of your life is out in front of you. There is no app to help map out a route that you should follow because many of the paths you will be traveling on have not yet been forged. You will be the one creating and adjusting the paths of your life's journey. There will be some road construction, a few dead ends, a couple wrong turns, but keep moving. Continue to choose the path that is in your heart, and you will have a truly wonderful future filled with adventure and success. If this graduation were like past graduations, you would have been sitting around your classmates that you have been with for 13 years, and that was just for a short time. You'd be anxiously waiting for me to finish this speech so that you could come up to the stage and receive your diploma. I am sorry and heartbroken that I am not able to provide that ceremony for you. The one you envisioned and deserve. However, this ceremony honors each of you for your accomplishments throughout your time at East High. Take with you the understanding that you are an East Red Devil. You have developed the character, tenacity, to take this in stride. That this disruption will not be used as an excuse, but used as a driver for better things to come. Again, I'll ask you the questions. What are you and your classmates going to do? What does the future hold for you individually and as a class? I know that East High will be a part of you and who you are as a person as you move into the next stages of your lives. Each of you will always be a Red Devil. Carry this distinction with pride 
as many of us still do from past graduating classes. The tradition of East High School continues only because of graduates like yourself. Our rich history and tradition continues to live and breathe with you, the graduates. Be proud and tenacious in all that you do. I wish you the best of luck in your future and heartfelt congratulations on your achievements. Dr. Langenfeld, it is my pleasure to present to you the senior class of 2020 of Green Bay East High School. Thank you, it is my honor and privilege on behalf of the Board of Education and the administration to congratulate you, the senior class of 2020. In my last year serving as superintendent in the Green Bay Area Public Schools, like you, the class of 2020, I had envisioned a very different end to the 2019-20 school year. Like you, I looked forward to celebrating your high school graduation with you, with your administrators, teachers, family, and friends. At times like this, I am reminded of the words of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. He said, we must accept finite disappointment, but we must never lose infinite hope. Needless to say, I am disappointed, but I am very hopeful that someday in the near future, we will be able to celebrate the graduating class of 2020 in person and that I will have the opportunity to look you straight in the eye and personally extend my congratulations to each and every one of you. Since March 13th, I have written the more than 3,000 district staff a weekly update related to COVID-19. And I always begin with a quote from the late great Vince Lombardi who said, the measure of who we are is what we do with what we have. In my weekly updates to staff while I share the current realities of COVID-19, I look for the positives and focus on the incredible and extraordinary work that our staff's been doing. Teaching students at home, serving 10,000 meals each and every day, printing and mailing educational resources to families, writing grants that support weekend meals and essential school supplies, and all of the other necessary functions to keep Wisconsin's fourth largest school district running while we are apart. Class of 2020, like our staff, you too had to make the best of the circumstances that were thrust upon you during this public health emergency. During the last few months, you've had to make the most with what you had. And here's what you had. You had a pandemic that closed your school buildings, requiring you to connect in very different ways with your classmates, teachers, coaches, administrators, and all staff who support you each and every day at school. You had a spring that was missing proms, senior balls, athletics, and all the many traditions that are a part of a normal school year. And instead, you had social distancing, the governor's safer at home order, and learning virtually from home. You had a school year without closure. Yearbooks were mailed home, locker cleanups completed by staff, curbside drop off of books and laptops, and only virtual end of the year celebrations and banquets, award ceremonies, athletic and military signings. But you also had dedicated administrators and teachers who worked tirelessly to ensure your educational as well as social and emotional needs were met. You had adults who turned over every stone to find a way to celebrate you and your high school graduation. Whether it was looking into a combined graduation ceremony at Lambeau Field, parking lot graduation ceremonies, drive-in movie theater like graduations. It was truly, truly an extensive list. But at the end of the day, the district needed to follow the guidelines provided to ensure that everyone would remain healthy and safe. Instead, you had senior strong yard signs and visits from school staff. You had billboards across the city school colors shining on the Fox River from the Ray Nitschke and Walnut Street bridges, virtual award ceremonies, and virtual graduations. And you also had, and very importantly, the love, the support, the respect, 
and the pride of your families, your friends, your teachers, your staff, your administrators, all who had been there, not only during this unprecedented time, but throughout your entire educational journey. And we are all ready to share in the exciting future that is waiting for you. As I reflect on our time here in Green Bay, we've been together class of 2020, nine years. And in that time, I think I have a pretty good understanding of the measure of who you are. The class of 2020 is resourceful, creative and innovative, and very respectful as well. And you have been extremely responsive to our current reality. You have persevered. You have grit. The class of 2020 is dedicated to not only improving yourselves, but also your schools and your community. The class of 2020 is willing to make sacrifices to ensure the health and safety and well-being of family, of friends, and the greater community. You have saved lives by your actions. The class of 2020 is able to move beyond disappointment and express gratitude to everyone who has done their very best on your behalf. You are demonstrating positivity and flexibility as plans certainly have changed. You know, there's nothing like a pandemic to force you into adulthood. And in response, you have grown and you have matured exponentially because of what you have experienced. And I am confident that the experience has shaped you in ways that have prepared you well for your future plans, whether you're heading off to a four or two year college, a technical college, the military, or the workforce. Today is a day to celebrate all that you have accomplished throughout your educational career, the growth that you have experienced living with and during a pandemic will not only forever change you, but strengthened and challenged you in ways that set you apart from any and all senior classes that have come before you and will come after. You continue to make us proud. In closing, as you go forward, remember what Vince said, the measure of who we are is what we do with what we have. Class of 2020, here is what you have. You have the opportunity to reimagine and reinvent the world. You have the potential in the years to come to be measured as the greatest and most influential class of young men and women who have reinvented and critically important, successfully, successfully transformed and changed our world for the better. My congratulations to each of you. Let's do this again in person very soon. Please be safe and well. Abdukhani Abdi. Nastejo Abdi. Daniela Abela Ramirez. Jose Abundis Perez. Yaya Ahmed. Marshall Alberts. Jonathan Ald. Alyssa Babic. Anthony Bahina. Winter Baird Melanie Benuelos Rivas Jose Barbosa Nungari Daisy Bautista Martinez
Arasai Benito Nina Burkett Tatiana Boniface Cody Booher Lincoln Borovka Jacqueline Bravo Duran Rhiannon Bryn Lucas Brunette Shante Camacho Vieira Harley Campbell Mirelli Canales Gudiel Esmeralda Castaneda Arias Hugo Sendeas Jonah Christopherson Stephanie Claudio Montesinos Adriana Coronado Andrew Cromer Jelson Cruz Javier Fabiola Cruz Ramirez Jessica Cruz Castillo Margaret Dahlberg Mel Doherty Angel De Jesus Ortiz Abby Delarwell Tegan Delarwell Misael Del Moro Becerra Ana Maria Diaz Isabella Del Savo Evan Dost James Dotson Barwako Duale Alteza Duongmala Joshua Dresser Ashley Engabus Catherine Escandel Katie Everard Alexander Fallish
Daniel Farfan. Jose Farfan Gomez. Gretchen Farrell. Ian Flores. Luis Flores. Carla Flores Rodriguez. Layla Fontaine. Neil Francis Adehi Fregoso Eduardo Garcia Leon Alonzo Garza David Garza Lara Gates Sabrina Guyton Palacios Blaze Gallant Logan Geyer Samantha Gibson Brenda Gill Taylor Gillis Caitlin Golan Mahilin Gonzalez Rigoberto Gonzalez Hippolito David Gonzalez Gonzalez Miguel Gonzalez Hernandez Luis Granados Hayden Grinke Cesar Grijalva Kayla Grukowski Yesenia Guzman Javier Hayes Natalie Hanneman Brett Hansen Samuel Harrison Eve Hopatos Haley Hetrick Isaac Herr Darlene Hernandez
Delis Hernandez Bautista. Tekin Hill. Devin Holvik. Joel Holzer. Miski Hussein. Randy Jackson. Forumo Jama. Michaela Jelinski. Ryan Jerovitz. Abdulkeni Himali. Andrea Jimenez. Daisy Jimenez. Mark Himos. Lamarian Johnson. Rachel Kanzenbach. Emily Kepler. Victor Kakotash. Brendan Kilpatrick. Corinne Klein. Jordan Cook. Connor Kobodlanski. Bailey Krause. Elizabeth Land. Maria Larios. Tazan Larry. Austin Laurent. Antonio Lebeau. Jean Ledsma and Glada. Samuel Ledvina. Katrina Lee. King Lee. Peter Lee. Clara Ann Leto. Elisa Lopez Amaya. Ashley Lopez Cruz. Joey Lore. Rachel Maluli.
Will Mannion. Marcella Marquise Marquise. Yanelli Martin Del Campo. Eva Martinez. Gustavo Martinez. Sochito Martinez. Erica Martinez Morales. Jason McGee. Noeli Mendoza. Carson Messenger. Sierra Mikolajczyk. Abdifata Mohammed. Jorge Molina Rosado. Ivan Morales Baez. Elizabeth Morales Baez. Frank Morrow. Mariah Mua. Asma Muhammad. Habon Muhammad. Leslie Manguia Rivera. Brandon Munoz. Daisy Muro. Brian Muro Serato. Elizabeth Navarro Castaneda. Jesus Nieve. Christian Olea. Francisco Arasco Diaz. America Arasco Barajas. Jesus Ortega. Annika Ostrowski. Adlanier Pacheco Vargas. Marin Parks. Elena Patrick. Fernando Perez Contreras. Raul Phillips Castillo. Kevin Placencia Nieves. Luis Ponce.
Brian Prieto Ponce. Celeste Putula. Gareth Piper. Ken Ramos. Zachary Renard. Jaime Renovato. Caitlin Ressler. Diego Reyes Ramos. Sulica Rivera Ortiz. Isaiah Robinson. Kaya Roadhaver. Dara Rodriguez. Marcos Rodriguez. Angelica Rodriguez Camerina. Gustavo Rodriguez Gonzalez. Javier Rodriguez Santiago. Carlos Rodriguez Sepulveda. Jose Ruiz Amaro. Robert Rush. Hermos Sabuni. Javier Salas. Rex Salazar. Aldo Saldana Serrano. Daniela Salinas Arroyo. Priscilla Sanchez. Ernesto Sanchez Ramirez. Hayden Sandberg. Adolfo Sandoval. Noemi Santiago Macias. Benjamin Schelk. Sophia Schillinger. Grace Schumacher. Ingrid Schweisel. Kalia Charette. Othaniel Cesarios. Floyd Silas. Jennifer Silva Vasquez.
Taylor Simmons. James Smith Dane Snudden Marco Solis Juarez Yaslin Soto Rafael Soto Cortez Aaron Sward Victoria Spellman Madison Spry Amber Steitzer Nikita Struck Susanna Taveres Emiscoa Selena Tau Han Tao Vivian Thefavong Christian Tunin Michaela Torbenson Susanna Torres Armando Torres Santos Mary Trembley Emily Trigueros Yu Tui Octaviano Ulo Aranda Ruby Valdez Andrea Valdovinos Cardenas Ken Fang Fen Fang Mireya Vesquez Angel Vasquez Danielle Vasquez Aya Maria Velasquez Juliana Vera Dulce Villa Rendon Connor Vincent Kylie Vincent Nicholas Wankel Leah Weatherspoon
Jacob Whiting. Duane Woodford. Maya Jean. Victory Jean. Cesar Yanez Munoz. Meng Yang Paku Yang Sandra Yang Sengoku Yang Song Yang Sua Yang Jorge Zabaleta Andrea Zavala Gomez Juan Zabaleta Jacob Zellner Thank you. 